It's officially my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Lil, what you think of that first ride? Cause you know we all in the country. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I keep I, I'm cute, but I keep someone on me. Don't play. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kiki Beauty. Welcome back. It's my birthday. Yeah. Happy, make sure y'all call me happy birthday. Period. Well, it's actually tomorrow, July 14th. So today is July 13th. So it's the weekend of my birthday. Turn up. Yes. So we just made it to, well, we ain't all the way there. Made it to our little country town. <laughs> we're on the way to San Antonio. We're going to Six Flags. So we got we dropped, an hour left. Yeah, we dropped Layla off at my mom's house. So we're doing a mother daughter birthday trip. Anyways, I need to put you know, I got my chips. Ah! I love these chips so much. Baby, don't play with it, okay? Let's put this up in here. Cause you know we all in the country. Yeah, I, I keep, I, I'm cute, but I keep someone on me, don't play. You got to keep something on ya at all times, cause these people is crazy. And she used to live here. Well, yeah, I was in, uh, I, I was Are you gonna go grade and then ninth grade. Are you gonna go visit, like, your go high visit. school? Or your middle or whatever? If you wanna go see it, I guess. I don't know no schools open. Well, maybe I got some. But I don't remember none of them teachers. I don't remember. My brain don't work like that. I ain't never had nobody I like. So I don't know. Yeah, I miss so and so. She don't like nobody. What, that? what she was pointing at our car for? See, that's why I keep me one with me. What she did that for? Uh, I guess she thought we was finna go drive or something. I don't know, child. But let me get the hell up out this country, child. <laughs> I need to. I'll pick y'all back up. Wow. I'm gonna yeah. be with. We need to ask somebody to record this. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas cross the street living large. Thinking back to the fact that they dead, throw my raps on the facts, so they sat with the bars. I got two phones, one need a charge. Yeah, they twins, I can tell they ass apart. I got big packs coming on the way. I got big snacks coming out the same. I got Lil Max with me, he the way. It's a big gap between us and the game. In the next life, I'm trying to stay paid. When I drop my money, We made it, y'all. We in San Antonio. Y'all, why is it gloomy and it was raining? Like, look at the clouds. We left Houston for this. I wish you just next week. I'm gonna do that and I gotta work. Oh, my bad. Don't start with me, negative Nancy. And I've been checking the weather and it's been saying it's gonna be cloudy, but it ain't saying nothing about rain. But I checked it now, now it's saying like 40%, then that two is gonna be 30%, and then it's gonna stop at three. So I don't know, child. Anyways, I'm hungry and we at Waterburger and I got a piece, so we can ready to go in here. The bathroom, give me something to eat, calm my nerves. I guess we'll probably just sit in there and eat because we're trying to see what the hell this weather fits to do. But yeah, we're in San Antonio, but we're only like 15 minutes from uh Six Flags, so we're here, y'all. Yeah, I get ready for these rides now. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take it, probably be easier to hold your phone on a ride versus 
yo um i mean camera since i have the stick versus your phone but i don't want to have to carry that because of my bag i'm just gonna have you know my little side bags put my card in and stuff like this so i should have got like a bigger fanny pack but i didn't but anyways let me go on here i'll be back y'all period Roddy rides on a full stomach, might throw up. <laughs> well, first we gotta see about the do up. Well, I'm not to wait for two o'clock. Go to dinner tomorrow. Go to the little So that should be nice. Have been there since I was a kid. So they have like a mall over there that we used to always go to. We want to go to the mall. I think it's called Riverwalk Mall. It's just a little thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for somebody I can call. Looking for the We made it to Six Flags. Guess what? The rain wanna start pouring down when we get here. So we waiting in the car for a minute, but it looked like it just slowed down. I think that's I hope that's probably it. I hope it's supposed to be done by three. It's 140 now. So a lot of people was coming in when we was coming in, so we're all in the same boat here. So we're gonna see. Pick y'all up when we get inside. I'm gonna wait for me. Hey. about to get on. I don't even know the name of it. Look, look, y'all, look. Oh, it's gonna shoot. It's gonna shoot straight. Now, we made it to our first ride. I don't know how to press record on the, on the phone, not my camera. So I'll record the next time when the next people get on so y'all can see the ride. Please go up. Let me show you. Okay, going to the top point. Going to lose, going to lose stuff. Child, we're gonna see. But they about to board now, so I'm gonna show y'all. Man, 
line for Onyx ride. I don't know what this Harbor, I think Pearl Harbor or something. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like an old boat. Yeah, it's gloomy out here. The rain slowed down, so I guess we're good now. And just sweat it out, y'all. Baby, just gone. Y'all, it's like no way we can record while riding around. That last one was like an hour and a half. Yeah, that one was like an hour and a half. Yeah, that one was like an hour and a half. Yeah, that one was like an hour and a half. Yeah, that one was like an hour and a half. Yeah, that one was like an hour and a half. Yeah, she thought it was gonna be all cupcakes and rainbows. <laughs> girl, be quiet, cause this your first time even at uh, yes. theme park. So, girl, bye. 9960. Well, y'all. Oh, this is the one we had got on, y'all. So, how you think Road Runner was? It was like, I don't know. It wasn't really that scary, but the turn, yeah. when you do them little curve down turns, yes. that was scary. That, that made my stomach drop. Now, where we going next? That thing? Wait, I can text her. She want to get on next. We got to find somewhere nice to take a picture. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're going to try to take some pictures, y'all. We use the AC, y'all. I like this little inside. Lights, dim lights. Too bad we can't record us. I don't, I don't be seeing the names of these rhymes. I don't know. I don't know. I try to figure out the name before so y'all will get off. I'm nervous. I know we got a big, big old deal. That's a lid got me on this shit. She's we love you, Miss You must be so excited to finally be here. Of course, I am Dr. Dale. The creator of the ocean is very Oh, now it's going to rain when we made it out here. Yeah. Huh? This is not the. Uh... We're well, about to get on the swings. I should be able to record that for y'all. We're trying to find Batman, but we can't find it. What time is it? 5 o'clock. We still haven't even checked in our Airbnb yet. I'm about to push, push them reservations back because it's at 7.30. Got like a shower, all that. I don't know. I think they close at 6. We ain't got long here. We just made it to our Airbnb. This is the front door. You come up the stairs. Up here, it's Aaliyah. This is our beautiful living room. Y'all, this apartment is just so cute. I love these chairs, though. I look like the marble. Mm -hmm. And I like the hardware. Ooh, I love this stove. The microwave ain't even like 90s. Oh yeah, no, later than that, like 60s. Mm. Like the little hardware they got. Aaliyah, you wanna show them your room? Aaliyah has her room. Come on, me. This is my mom's room. This is my room. This is the one I chose. A little artwork, it has a TV. Closet here. They have extra sheets, an iron. But we have to share a bathroom. Wash your dryer in here. Yeah, wash your dryer. We have to share a bathroom, but I love the shower. Oh, yeah. This is my room. This is Aaliyah's room. <laughs> Closet. It's the same, y'all. Yeah, but pretty yeah. much the same. Period. But we had a time. I'm about to go ahead and take my shower. Oh, you gonna go first? Yeah. Cause I, I'm gonna have to do makeup and all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my shower, start getting dressed. We're gonna play some music. Yeah, we're about to play some music, vibe out. Dinner is at 8.30, 7.14. Should I push it back to nine? They gonna be like, what? She's pushing it back again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, we gotta figure that out. Cause I gotta still flat out my hair. I'll pick y'all back up when I start getting dressed. Here's the dress I'm wearing. Green dress. 
Not sure what earrings yet, but I have these. I got this dress from Fashion Nova, size large. I don't remember the price. It was probably not more than $30, I'm sure. For these gold and clear heels. I have this little arm bangle that I'm gonna wear tonight. Tom Ford, of course. I already sprayed myself down with this. Um, Makeup done. Yeah, I don't, never mind this. Uh, our reservation was at 7.30. We have pushed it back. Child by three times. So now the new one is at 9.15 because, honey, I knew it was burning my flat iron. Damn. What? Why does that keep going on now? Hurry up and get out the way. We is not about to make it on time. Because I need to be, you know, it's like my pictures because it's my birthday. Why does it take 15 minutes to put lashes on? You know what? At Airbnbs, I just wasn't finding none that I really liked. And I didn't really want to get this one because of the one bathroom. But I was like, that's the only one that's decent for right now. Because I had found one of them and I actually booked it. But you know, that don't give you like the full address to after you book it. So after I booked it, I looked it up. And baby, I was like, oh no, we're not staying there. Somewhere in the hood. Uh, broke down, busted houses, boarded up. I was like, oh no. But I mean, it's decent over here. They got some little regular houses over here too. <laughs> or across the street. Like, I don't know if they about to redo it or what happened over there. But yeah. I'm just cutting my hair, y'all. Alright, well, you want to move now. You want to go use that in here? Where is it? I'm going to use one of these. I was gonna leave it like poofed. I don't know. See what this has. Um, I'm gonna be copyrighted, but who cares? Until I get my subscribers up and start making money. It is what it is. But, anyways, I, um, I normally buy the straight or the uh, body wave. At this time, I think I got like a slight curl or something like that. So it'd be cute like once you add some water and put some mousse on it. But that's probably why it's so like big because it's more like natural, if that makes sense. So I don't think this hair is like meant to just like really straight, straighten if you want like bone straight. But I guess maybe if you take your time, but Anyways, I'm just gonna throw a few curls, fix my leave out, <clears throat> then put my dress on, and I'll show y'all what we're working with. Yeah, not sure if this bra is gonna work. I think my boobs are too big, looking like I got faux boobs. And I forgot my little pasties. I don't know why time is just moving so fast. These little armband things. I'm trying to figure out which one. What time is it now? I think I'm gonna do the short ones. Got these long ones. It's at 9.15. Yeah, I don't know about this bra. Did I bring my oil sheen? <sighs> it's 
tar being a girl. I need to put some makeup on this, I forgot. I'm gonna show y'all the full look when I get to take my pictures. Look at me. I don't like the way I smile, my nose is Y'all look like a busted up biscuit. We can make plenty of six times and come back home. I know, but it's not gonna hit the same. It's not, it's not that fresh. Girl, <laughs> this is all we came for right on time. <laughs> God, that was 8.30. But we can make some at the dinner then. Okay, so can you show them my dress? Because they wanna see me. I'm the birthday girl. I look like a busted biscuit. Help! But this is the dress. Period. Happy birthday to me, big three seven. Hey. Okay, my turn. Okay, y'all. So, yeah. All right, and cut. <laughs> oh, I'm Got to the first one. We're at Lantry. Y'all are so nice. Look, the river walk is right behind me. And then they have like a live band upstairs. So we might go listen to that. I got my heels on, so after the week, I'm going to get my shoes, my flats, so we can walk down the river walk. It's like a, you know, like that Lucas look. Taste with your finger. Like that Lucas. What is it called? It's called a Chipotle pineapple. <laughs> Because they got SeaWorld, they got 
What we went to today, Fox? Six Flags. They got Pearl Harbor. Then they got the Riverwalk. They got everything. Everything. We're about to go on a boat tour. We got on the last one because after that they said they wasn't doing the most of them. It's just the time. There's a lot of restaurants and stuff closing. What time is it? About 10 something? Almost 11, I think. It's a little humid out here, but we'll be alright, I guess. We got upgraded to the private side. <laughs> if we wanted to sit on the private side, I was after sitting in the middle part. I guess we went on the tour first. I guess in here. Okay. I guess. Hey girl. Okay. I'll be a boat captain for today's tour, and as a boat captain, I prioritize you all safety. So the first thing I want everyone to do is to please look down, look for some seatbelts, and buckle those seats. Okay, safety rule so number one: please remain seated throughout the boat ride. Safety rule number two, uh, no smoking of any sorts. That includes cigarettes, e-cigarettes, and vaping. Safety rule number three, uh, keep all your stuff inside the boat, specifically your phones. Not kidding about this one, y'all. I have two folks drop their phones. It's going to be a walk. And if it's not a walk, it is a former Nix hospital which opened up in 19. If there's another universe, please make some noise. If there's a point to losing love, repeat and pain It's all the same I hate this place, stuck in this paradigm Don't believe in paradise This must be what hell is like There's got to be more, got to be more Sick of this letter of mine Intrusive thoughts, they paralyzed No fun is not, it's not a time There's got to be more, been here before Three-story hotel was built top of Mount South. Well, y'all can go ahead and ask a San Antonio native, also known as my mom. Because my mom actually watched the Fairmont move one inch wow. every hour. And the original owner of John's Peace actually left for about 10 Good years mom. to bring I'm back his wife and kids. When he brought them back... It's officially my birthday. Happy birthday to me. It's my birthday, y'all. Another trip around the sun. Officially 37 today. Ah, man. I'm just so grateful, so happy, so blessed. I mean, you know, you go through life and you just never know your day-to-day, -day, your year-to-year, 
uh, what can happen, uh, what blessings may come your way, what devastations may come your way, what trials may come your way, but you just take every day by day and next thing you know, you made it through. And guess what? I'm here. I made it through another year. Which each year that my birthday come around, I always grow and I never want to stay stagnant in the same exact mind frame or the same anything living space financial space i always want to grow every year so i always do my best to do better than whatever my previous year was that i've learned so far in my 30s i mean which i'm still in my 30s i'm not 40 yet but i'm just telling you so far to this point being 37 <laughs> but i've just learned that you can't worry about what somebody else is doing you have to worry about you and a lot of times especially like when you in relationships or maybe friendships or like with family a lot of times you be wanting closure honey don't look or wait for that closure a lot of times you're really never gonna get that so it's best to just close to yourself uh, maybe write a letter to yourself if you have to and just move on because those same people that hurt you or mistreated you are never gonna come clean never gonna confess and never gonna apologize for anything and you're the person that's stuck waddling in that sorrow and have to pick up the pieces at the end of the day nobody can ever bring you closer you have to bring that closure to yourself so just stop looking for it honey the next thing I would sometimes say. Sometimes you have to validate your own feelings. Sometimes your friends or your family are not going to be there for you to tell you, yeah, you know, this is what you need to do. Yeah, you was right about that. You have to go into your own self and be like, hey, this is how I feel about something. And go with that. Don't worry about validation from other people. You have to be your own hero. You have to validate yourself because nine times out of ten, everybody not going to do that for you. And you'll just hurt your own feelings looking for a parade and a cheerleader. And you have to trust when something feels off, honey, that's your intuition, especially coming from a woman. Nine times out of ten, yeah, 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 your feeling is very much 100% on track. You just have to trust your gut feeling. A lot of times we don't tr trust our instincts and trust our intuition because we don't want to acknowledge that and we don't want to believe that people are fucked up in this world and do some messed up shit. You don't want to believe that people are really like that, but they really are like that. And sometimes you have to just put it in your, it's not for you to make it logical and wonder why people do the things that they do, why this, Sometimes the shit just don't make sense and it's never going to make sense because you're not on that frequency and you don't think in that fucked up way so you can never make that logical. So, so you just got to let that just roll off, child, because you're going to drive yourself nuts trying to figure out why people do the stuff that they do. And another thing, find yourself a hobby. Find yourself something that you enjoy doing that's effort effortlessly that doesn't require you to feel like that you're working. Cause I mean, we go to work, we take care of kids, we pay bills. If you're married, you know, you gotta worry about your husband, make sure he's straight, the whole house. And you have to be all these things to everybody else. So you have to take that time out for something for you. Because you will get overwhelmed with just working every day paying bills there's more to life than doing that so find just the simplest thing that you enjoy maybe you just love to go to walks in a park and listening to music or you like to go swimming get yourself some swimming classes go to the gym work out do whatever that'll keep you mentally stable so that that's something that i'm learning in my 30s find yourself a hobby so i'm not just saying this to y'all because i'm definitely looking for me some stuff that i can do in this part of my hobby like this is therapeutic for me to put this camera right here and talk to you guys it's like my little diary
and give yourself room give yourself time to grow and to learn don't let society make you feel like you have to live up to a certain standard you have to live up to what's for you works for you in your household and your well-being your family especially lord i get tired of this topic when they have these podcasts and they talk about going 50 50 and who should be paying all the bills and all that do what works for you in your household in your family and just in life in general because you are the one at the end of the day that has to deal with whatever path that you choose in life whatever anything that you choose you have to deal with those consequences so just make sure you're standing on business and standing on your own business. Don't worry about nobody else or what they got going on. Because at the end of the day, it's your life. You came into this world alone and you're definitely going to leave alone. So you need to make sure you're living your life to your best ability and standing on your own business. Because at the end of the day, it's you and nobody else. It's just you. And look here, you can be understanding and still pe keep people at arm's length. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That them friends, family members, you can forgive them and love them from afar. Yeah, yeah, I love you, but baby, I'm not dealing with you. And that's for your own mental. And can't nobody make you feel bad about that. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's you, it's your life. And if somebody is fucking with your mental, then they gotta go. And you should not feel bad about having boundaries and setting those boundaries and not letting people come into your life, feel like they can do what they want to do, and you just stand there and take it and take it and take it. No. It's you at the end of the day. You don't have to take anything and nobody's shit. So stand on that business. We standing on business in our thirsts because we don't have time for the games and none of that. Okay? So, yeah, that's just a few life tips that I have that I've learned in my 30s. You know, in your 20s, they tell you, you know, you're young, you still have time, but you really don't. In your 20s, you need to be setting your life up for when you get in your 30s. Because life can get real tough for whatever you did in your 20s. Each milestone is setting you up for the next one. Whatever I do in my 30s is going to set me up. For whatever life brings me in my 40s. Whatever I do in my 40s is going to set me up for what life brings me in my 50s. You have to live each year, each day in life. Moving in a way that you are okay with. Because like I said, at the end of the day, all you got is you. So, yeah, I, I've enjoyed this birthday. It has been awesome to be able to spend quality one-on-one -on -one time with my daughter because y'all know if y'all watch my vlogs for a long time it was just me and Aaliyah so no not that she don't love her sister but you still need to give your kids even if you have multiple kids three or four or five if you have two boys and one girl you know you need to spend time with your boys and do boy things with them and you know not always have to have the little sister tag along they have to go to the barbie store you know and then you have to take her, have her time, go have a little tea party with her. It's good to, and healthy to split those times up because you don't ever want your kids to feel neglected or feel like, you know, you've forgotten about them. So, yeah, so I, this has been the greatest birthday. So, we're going to we check out of here at 11. It's 9 now. I'm about to call my mom, check on baby Layla. And then we're going to go to, she want to see where my old high school was. So I'm going to show her my old high school. Then we're going to go to the River City Mall. I showed y'all that when we went to the Riverwalk. So we're going to go there, show her around a little bit. And then we're going to head back to Houston. And I think Babe is going to take me to dinner tonight. So that should be nice. And then probably just going to hang out. So yeah, I'll catch y'all in a little bit. When we get to the mall, then we'll be hitting the road.